everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm dyeing this very hairy, very fluffy fibre. I mean, just look at it. It's so, so hairy. This is actually pineapple. Uh, I don't know anything about the process of it going from the plants to this but uh, I'm very excited to dye pineapple fibre. <laughs> And after I've dyed it, we're going to spin it to see how it spins up. So now I'm going to go soak this in some soda ash and water because it is a plant-based fibre while I get everything ready to dye. This pineapple fibre has been soaking for probably close to a month now. I didn't intend to soak it for quite so long, but uh, it was half term and then life kind of got away with me. So it's definitely <laughs> been soaking for long enough. And I'm gonna hand paint some, this is New Emerald Green, which is a fiber reactive dye from Dharma on there. Just a little bit. I'm gonna just press it through. That's looking nice. I'm gonna do little bits of hand painting. And then I would like to speckle with new emerald green as well. So I may regret this because as much as I love new emerald green, it is a bleeder. And I can see I will probably be washing this forever. But I love the colour. So I tell myself it's all worth it because it's such a gorgeous colour. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Pop my mask back on, make sure my hands are completely dry. And I'm just gonna get the tiniest pinch and do that there, 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 and there. That is all I am going to do. Because I know this color will spread. I don't want to overdo, overdo it. Although, do I want to flip, speckle the other side as well? Yeesh. Yes. Now, I'm going to try this in a very awkward way. Using my left hand, I am right-handed, and my left hand is essentially useless. So I'm going to try very, very carefully to flip this to expose that side, so I don't need to wash my hands. <laughs> Simply being lazy. There okay, go, a tiny bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, and there. Now when this is spun out, if there are speckles, they will blend out, but I'm very curious to see what it will look like. And I do have a bit of dye on my fingers, I apologise for the light, it is quite a dark day and my kitchen light isn't fantastic. Normally I do this sitting down, but I, I've hurt my back and sitting, sitting at the table hurts a lot at the moment, so I'd rather just stand up. There we go. That is looking pretty good to me. I'm happy with this. So because this is a plant-based fibre, like, like cotton, it just needs time, it doesn't need heat. So I'm going to wrap this up in the cling film to keep it from drying out. There we go. And leave this for a couple of days and then I can wash it. This pineapple fibre has been sitting here for two days now. So let's gently unravel it and wash it. Now, there. This is just cold soapy water and yes, as I expected, there is bleeding. This happens with plant-based fibres. Uh, they just don't take the dye in the same way that animal-based fibres do. So this, this amount of dye, if I was watch, washing an animal-based fibre, something would have gone completely wrong and I'd have to uh, put the uh, yarn back on the heat with a whole load of vinegar and just cross my fingers and hope that everything would set. But, oh, <laughs> be really careful, this is falling to bits. Uh, yeah, this 
is fairly normal for the first rinse of an animal of a plant-based fiber. Now, as I've already shown, this is very, very delicate, and part of it has already separated. It's already fallen to bits. Or has it? Maybe it hasn't. Oh, yeah, I think it's this bit. So you just got to be very, very careful. And see, on the second rinse, the second soak, not much more, not much dye is coming out at all. Now, what I like to do with all my plant-based fibres, uh, to save me standing here washing them uh, for hours and hours to get the water to run clear, I just like to soak these in some soapy water. I change the water every couple of hours or so until the water is clear. And that takes a lot of pressure off the washing process. And um, certainly with this fibre, I'm not worried if I don't get the water to go completely clear because I'm going to be spinning this fibre. And when you spin, once you've spun the fibre, you need to soak your yarn in water to set the twist. So this will be getting another wash anyway. But I just want to get the most of the dye out now. So I'm just going to transfer this to a little pot that I've got. And then, this is probably too small, but it's, uh, it's the only one I've got at the moment. And then I'll just change the water every couple of hours until I'm happy with the colour of the water. And here is the finished banana fibre. It is a bit scruffy, yes. I'm used to fibres sort of compacting on themselves a bit and then you need to go along and separate them uh, to sort of fluff it up and make it look really nice. But this is just, see this bit has already fallen off. I think that happens when I was washing. And it's just sort of all coming apart. This will spin up easily, uh, but it's, it's not the prettiest of fibres. I don't know if I would need to card this uh, to sort of make it look a bit prettier or what, but um, if you look past the scruffiness and to the actual fibre, you see just how gorgeous it is. I love this new emerald green. And then you can see splodges of yellow and some bits of blue where I've speckled the, the, the fibre, the dye. If you look at this bit in particular, you can see that I put sort of some of the liquid dye here and here on either side and then in the middle it's a lot paler and then you've got these varieties of colours. I think this looks lovely and I'm now going to go spin this into some hopefully very pretty yarn. And here is my pineapple fibre all spun up into yarn and that is still crazy to me to think that this is made of pineapple. Now this was quite difficult to spin. There's quite a few um, places where I overspun it or the yarn is really thin like it is here. Uh, that's the tail end, so that's always going to be, certainly with my spinning, that's always going to be a little bit um, looser. But there's quite a bit of overspun parts in this. And it's it's not the, the softest of fibres. But I think it's going to be quite a sturdy, strong fibre. I don't know. Please let me know what your experience of pineapple yarn is. This yarn was so much fun to dye and spin and I have loved it and the colours in this are gorgeous. I love that new emerald green. There are some bits that are lighter but generally overall it is a pretty solid, well I wouldn't say solid, it's a tonal I would say and there's a random splotch of red in there that could be from another fibre that I dyed but this was a lot of fun I have loved every moment of dyeing and preparing this yarn thank you so much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed making this video I as I said I have loved every step of the way this has been of such a learning curve for me and now I have yarn made of pineapple which is something I never even dreamed of. What do you think of this yarn? Uh, what do you think of this video? Please let me know down in the comments. I publish a new video every Monday usually around about 6 p.m. UK time and I'm hoping to do some more unusual plant-based fiber dyeing in the future so make sure you've got notifications turned on and you're subscribed so you don't miss any of these new videos. Thank you so much for watching.